Scotland's approach to how public bodies manage flood risk is changing. The Flood Risk Management Scotland Act 2009 encourages partnership working that will help us to coordinate our actions and take a more planned approach to how we tackle flooding. In 2011, SEPA published Scotland's first national flood risk assessment, which marks a big step forward in our understanding of the sources and impacts of flooding. So why does flooding happen? There are several flooding sources affecting a river's catchment, and flood risk from these sources is predicted to increase as a result of climate change. At the top of the catchment, rainwater is absorbed into the ground, or forms watercourses, which feed into a river. When the ground is saturated, water runs off the land and into the watercourses, increasing the river's flow and level. When rivers can't cope with more water, flooding happens. In urban areas, surface water flooding occurs when our natural and artificial drainage is overwhelmed by the volume of water that hasn't entered the watercourse. Flooding also happens along our coastlines when there are storms and high tides. In Scotland, around 125,000 properties are at risk of flooding. That's one in 22 homes. SEPA is the Flood Warning Authority for Scotland and plays a strategic role in managing flood risk. We are working closely with Scottish Water and local authorities to coordinate our actions and manage flood risk more effectively across Scotland. Through our flood warning duties, we also work closely with the emergency services. But you are the first line of defence against flooding. Floodline, our 24-7 flood warning service, sends free messages directly to your phone, giving you time to protect your property and yourself. Unfortunately, flooding can't be prevented entirely, but we can manage flood risk and reduce its impact. In Scotland, we have adopted a more sustainable approach to managing flood risk, which looks at whole river catchments and how to prevent flooding moving to other parts of the river. For instance, planting woodlands could help slow the flow of water into our rivers. Floodplains and wetlands could also help to store flood water and reduce flood risk. These techniques can improve water quality and create wildlife habitats. Natural techniques can be used alongside traditional engineered schemes such as flood walls, embankments and storage. And in the home you can use flood protection products like flood guards and air brick covers. We're constantly improving our knowledge of flood risk and SEPA will use this information when advising local authorities on flood risk to assess planning applications. In 2015, we will publish Scotland's first flood risk management strategies and local flood risk management plans will be published by local authorities in 2016. By taking a long-term, sustainable and coordinated approach to tackle flooding, we will target investment where the risks and benefits of intervention are greatest helping our communities by reducing the impact of flooding.